Lee, we're in a beautiful part of the world here. Um, some fabulous scenery, but of course, this factory is, is, is the purpose of our visit here to Switzerland. Um, could you describe Boomatech for our audience, for those that may not have seen these machines or may not have know of this is part of the Starag Group's offering? Well, they, these are um, these are true multifunctional machines. So, um, depending on how you configure the, the each machine type, they're a bit like a Swiss Army knife. You can build them in different ways. We can do a number of different operations. So we, we, we can turn, we can mill, we can drill, we can we can sky. If we we can do we can do anything on a single platform, and that's really the objective for, for the applications engineers here to develop a solution that's one shot. And the, the medical sector, uh, some of the parts we've looked at here, and in fact, coming to the channel very soon, we've, we've actually done around about 15 uh, videos or probably even a bit more on specific parts, haven't we, that uh, from the medical sector. It's been fascinating to see some of them. Um, just maybe describe what generally a medical part looks like and, and some of the reasons, again, why this technology is perfect for, for machining them. Well, you, you, you could have um, you could have a number of different components, really. You, uh, some are predominantly turn the ground, like the, like the femoral ball that we, 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 we've looked at. Majority of parts we do are predominantly milled, so some turning, but predominantly milled with complex shapes. Um, Precision is something that we really focus on. So on a lot of the components we manufacture, you know, to hold positions to, to, to very tight true position tolerances are required. So it's really varied and it's varied through different material types as well. We could have soft metals like aluminiums, we can have very hard metals. We looked at the part that was 58 Rockwell yesterday, or we could have um, plastic type components like your peak components that are, that are used quite extensively in the medtech market. The surface finish is a big one as well. Most of the parts we've been looking at, a lot of them, certainly have, have required these amazing finishes. Um, you achieve that by machining, but you also do polishing and grinding on these machines too, don't you? Sure, when required. We, we tend to look at the component first and then build the process around the component. So if we look at a component or a family of parts, that gives us the the flexibility to configure the machine the right way so it's optimised. Then we look at the automation that's required, if it's required. So quite often uh, people will want to uh, load from bar or, uh, and they'll want to offload finished parts into a tray system. They'll want to run 24-7 unmanned. So as long as we ask the right questions, we can configure the right machine. And I think for me, my takeaway from a lot of what I've seen here is these machines are production machines. You know, they will improve productivity and reduce cycle times. However, they're very quick to set, you know, and going from one family of parts to another. There's not a long lead time in being able to change from part to part, is there? That's a big advantage. It's a big advantage. You, you see different types of customers using the same platform. You, you could have a small subcontractor doing very low volume, quick turnover components, or you could have a bank of machines doing, doing mass production fully automated on them. There isn't really a lot you can't do on one of these machine tools.